Hello, and welcome to what is going to be an incredible Saturday morning for all of you. I thank you so much for taking out some time today and joining us on this incredible journey that will only take about an hour, but believe me when I say for the next 60 minutes, we are going to have jam-packed entertainment tips and tricks and everything to do with upping your makeup game when it comes to your skills, as well as really, really, you know, finding out what it takes to be an influencer and finding out what the game is all about, because of course you can actually make money from being an influencer in South Africa. It's something that maybe perhaps you thought is a distant dream, but the guests that I'm going to be bringing on today will let you know that it's closer than you think, all right? Welcome to the 2021 Maybelline New York Masterclass. It's so good to have all of you here. Please remember to drop a comment on YouTube as well as on our Facebook so that we can engage with you, show us some love, and we'll send some love right back at you. And it will just be a really great time of us really connecting today because we're going to bring some value to you in terms of really allowing you to walk through how to do a makeup routine with the best in the business. And also, of course, I hope that you have your pins and your notebooks ready because we're going to be giving you all the tips and the tricks and the inside scoop as to what it takes to be an influencer in this country. I'm going to be having incredible guests today. I'm sure you know who they are already because you've signed up for the class. You saw Kay Yams' name and I know you said, Queen, I will be there to support you. We're going to be getting into chats with Kay Yams all about foundation. And let me tell you, I got all the foundations right here, okay? These are all my empties because I'm such a big fan of Maybelline. And especially when it comes to the Fit Me range, I'm in shade 312 or golden. And it's, you can see, it's a perfect match for me. So we'll be chatting to Kay Yams about finding your perfect match when it comes to the Fit Me range. And we've got 42 different shades. So it's really going to be something that will suit you regardless of the level of melanin you have or the lack of melanin you have, we've got you covered, all right? We're also going to be chatting to Sailor Dean, moving on to the brows, and I'm already wearing the product today. It's going to be fantastic. She's going to talk to us about the Maybelline New York Tattoo Brow 36 Hours. You heard that right. Not a day way more than that, way more than 24 hours. It's going to stay on your face within the curfew. Okay, we're not going beyond that. But as long as Sora Ramaphosa has let us out, we are going to looking good with our eyebrows. Also going to be bringing in Fungai, moving on to our eyes. And she's just going to show us how to do a really quick look, a smoky eye as well. When it comes to the Colossal 36-Hour Mascara, enhanced by our nudes of New York eyeshadow palette, I hope that you have everything with you right now so that as soon as Fungai calls upon a color, you can go ahead and follow her along with it. She's also going to be finishing off the look with some Colossal Cajal Eyeliner by Maybelline, of course. And then lastly, but certainly not least, our TikTok star. I'm so excited to have her with us. Simone Skosin is going to be talking us through our Transfer Proof Super Stay matte ink i've got the color pioneer on today if you know you know and i just think it's the perfect red to suit everyone but we'll see which one simone is going to be going with today there's so many colors to choose from so i hope that you're excited show some love in that comment section again across facebook as well as youtube and you could really stand a chance to win prizes throughout this right we're going to be choosing comments randomly as we go and you could win a fit me hamper to the value of a thousand rand and believe me when i say that you're going to want to get your hands on this so continue commenting continue showing love and uh, there's also a big prize to be won to the value of 10,000 Rand so if you are a fan of Simone Skosin then you'll know that the TikTok game is real and if you'd like to join in on that TikTok challenge you can create your own Maybelline look from beginning to end with all the transitions possible and uh, we will pick the best one to win that 10,000 Rand Maybelline hamper for this challenge what you have to do basically is just use the maybe it's Maybelline sound that Simone has used on her TikTok. So just choose her audio, put your footage with it, put your makeup on it as well, and you could stand a chance to win something truly, truly incredible. It's so good to have all of you here. Remember, those are five hampers up for grabs, so continue commenting, continue showing us all the love. I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited. You can tell that I've been on 
I am so incredibly thrilled. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carissa Cupido, and I am a radio and TV broadcaster. And of course, it's so incredibly great to be here um, with you today. If you don't have TikTok, remember, you can also use the sound from my Instagram, from Guy's Instagram, Sailor Dean's Instagram, or even Kay Yams' Instagram, just to make sure that you get the right one. That's a qualifier, okay? So you're going to have to go ahead and use the right sound in order to stand a chance to win that 10,000 Rand grand hamper, courtesy of Maybelline. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. I think our girls are ready to, to jump on and take us through everything, take us through what will end up being an incredible look for you to enjoy your Saturday with. I've already got a bit of a head start, I'm not going to lie, but as we go through the demonstration, I'm very certain that we're all going to look like the bad, beautiful woman that we are, okay? <laughs> Let's get straight into our Maybelline Masterclass, the annual Maybelline Masterclass for 2021. It's really so good to have all of you here. So I don't know if you know that much about the, the back history of Maybelline, but it's a really interesting story that I think that many of us can actually relate to. So let's get into where Maybelline started from. You know, it really is a wonderful brand today and 100% as we know, the number one cosmetics brand in the world, but it has an origin story. So way, way back in the day, there was a girl named Mabel of course. And she lived in New York with her parents as well as her brother, you know, the big apple. She was trying to pursue her dream and trying to do her thing. But not only that, she had an eye on a particular man that she definitely wanted to entice with a look. But at the time, of course, the access to makeup wasn't there. In fact, makeup wasn't even there. And so she took it upon herself to create something out of coal as well as Vaseline and just create a smoky eye to allure the guy of her dreams. I have to say big ups to her because the determination is real and I'm certain it was a happily ever after story. But her brother, being the entrepreneur that he was at the time, Thomas Lyle, said, you know what? Something could actually develop from this. And so he took what Maybelline had, what Mabel had done and created what we know as Maybelline today. So the Vaseline, that's where the lean of Maybelline comes from, and her name Mabel, he put those two together and then created the first lash brow product for the company. And today we're sitting with so, so many products to choose from. So shout out to Mabel and her pursuit of love something I know we can all relate to. And now it's sold in 120 countries across the world and is the number one cosmetics brand that has brought us all here today. So shout out to their family for really doing something incredible that is still relevant in 2021. Our first guest that I definitely want to bring on today knows all about makeup, and I can't wait to chat to her. You know her name by now. It's Kay Yams, and she is somebody that I truly look up to in the beauty world. Definitely top, top influencer in this country. She is just goals, I have to say. She trended on Twitter probably a couple of weeks ago now about her routine and about her lifestyle that we all kind of aspire to do. I'm going to find out from Kay Yams about what it takes to be an influencer in this country and what it takes to just look beautiful every day. We want to find out from her, does she wake up looking as good as she does? And also about the pursuit of her passion. So before we get into that, before we get into definitely finding out her trajectory, into becoming an influencer and a makeup guru in this country. Let's find out more about the Fit Me Foundations. Fit us as we are. Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline, New York. Oil-free formula for a natural matte look in 42 shades. Millions worldwide choose Fit Me Foundation only from Maybelline, New York. For all-day matte, add Fit Me Powder. Absolutely love it. Kay, welcome. Thank you for being with us this morning. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much for the lovely welcome. Hi, guys. <laughs> Please go ahead in the comment section across Facebook and YouTube. Show some love to Kay. I know the comments are going so crazy right now, Kay. Like I said, I'm a fangirl right now. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> 
lover of everything that you do. And I think, you know, your career path is so fitting to your name, Kitakutle Ngunyama, because it means choose the good, right? <laughs> And much like our own Mabel, like we spoke about earlier, you really did that. And you went after your dreams and pursued what you wanted. You left your accounting studies at WITS to pursue <laughs> being a beauty influencer in this country. And look at you now. Congratulations on Thank your you face. So and <laughs> You're going to make me cry. You're taking me so far back. Honestly, it's been such a crazy journey. And I'm so happy to be here. A hundred percent. And today you're going to be taking us through the Fit Me Foundation. So I'm in shade 312, which is right. Yeah. What are you? What are you? I, okay, because I'm a makeup artist and I'm a professional and I think I like things perfect, perfect. I mix these two shades. So it's the shade 352 and 340. I like the warmth of the 340. And this is like probably my actual shade, but this just brings more warmth and just glow and golden to my skin. I love that. Some dimension yeah. as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead. Talk us through the 42 shades and how you pick your perfect shade. Sure. Okay, cool. So I mix these two foundations. I I think Fit Me was probably the first foundation I ever invested in. I love Fit Me. It's so affordable. It really keeps my skin matte and poreless and flawless the whole day. So what I usually do first is I will go in with my baby skin primer this is like the absolute fave primer. I think it's the best selling primer in the world. I'm not too sure because I've got like very um, defined pores on my nose and my T-zone area. What I'll do is I'll just put a bit of this primer here. I don't like to apply it on all of my face because I find that if I do, my face becomes almost too matte, which I don't like. So I think that's another thing I really like about the Fit Me Foundation is that you can sort of control the amount of matte that you have. Like if you prep your skin with the dewy sort of moisturizer and you can apply the primer, you can automatically get a dewy finish. Whereas if you want to go ahead and get like a full matte, like, you know, really snatched type of look, you can apply the baby skin primer and it'll give you exactly that. Another tip, like I hope you guys are writing this down because this is really, really important. What I like to do before I apply the foundation, I see a lot of people will just directly go and apply the foundation on their skin here which is good, but I find that if you warm the product up on the back of your hand first, it just gives you a much more um, flawless blend and it gives you a really, really nice finish. So that's something that you can really, really, you know, take home. <laughs> so funny because you guys are already at home and I just go in with whatever I have next to me. I'm going to use a, an eyebrow pencil and just mix this foundation on my palm like this to get my perfect shade. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my foundation brush. We don't waste product in this house, honey. So I'm just going to scoop this product up here. And again, this is how I would uh, go in and um, do my flawless um, foundation application. I usually don't apply too much product at a time. So what I do is I will just blot in a little bit of product as I go and I'll do my full face first, just um, to allow my skin to sort of settle and for the product to settle into my skin before I build it up. I find that when you build up product too quickly um, onto your skin, the product moves around. So you need to allow the product, uh, you know, time to settle first before you go in and build it in. So do your whole face first, and then you can go back and build up on those areas that you feel need building up on. Can you so see the finish? Can I jump in here really quickly and ask you the value of yeah. doing a beauty blender versus the brush that you're using right now? Do you have a preference or is there a better way to go about doing that? Uh, I think it's just personal preference, Carissa. I feel like with me personally, I'm just so lazy to wash beauty blenders every day. And I feel like I need to wash it every day. Whereas with the brush, I just find that it's a lot easier for me to clean. So I use them quite interchangeably. If I've got a clean beauty blender, I'll go in and use a beauty blender. But if I don't, I just usually um, prefer to use a brush. Mm. And as you can see, I'm not applying, I'm not mixing too much product on my hand at a time. I just want to make sure that, you know, I think makeup, the most important thing about makeup really, oops, my brush. <laughs> 
the most important thing about makeup is just control. So you need to always make sure that, you know, you're not overwhelming yourself. Take it one step at a time and, you know, you can fix things as you go. Because if you try to do too much at, you know, one time, then you will get really, really overwhelmed and you feel like, oh, my God, my makeup is not blending. Oh, my God, I look cakey. But if you take your time with it, then you'll find that, oh, my God, I'm actually really, really good at this. I love the comments coming through, just showing Kayam so much love. Thank you all for engaging. It's so lovely to hear from you. And thanks for spending your Saturday morning with us. I got a comment coming through from Call Me Kill Friends saying, yo, your skin is just so healthy, Kay. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. To, to foundation, basically, right? Having a good, healthy glow naturally. Yeah. That's another thing, actually, I wanted to share my Instagram story, but I didn't have enough time. It's so important to take care of your skin prior. So I will always, if I, on the weekend, and I wanna make sure that my makeup is looking really, really snatched, then I'll go in and I'll exfoliate my skin before I do my makeup. I'll make sure that I put on like a detox scrub, just make sure that my skin is fresh. And when I put that makeup on, it really, really absorbs and my makeup looks really, really flawless. You can only get that with good, skin in as much as a good foundation will take you places good skin will take you to better places <laughs> i love that so how do you actually find your perfect match um you know i went to a maybelline event when we did the world record breaking foundation match with fit me mm -hmm. ago. so i found my match there but is there perhaps an easier way or a more convenient way to find your perfect match well, the great thing about Maybelline is that they've got 42 shades, which means you definitely are guaranteed to find a match. And also, another thing that I really like about Maybelline that a lot of foundations really get wrong is the fact that the color on the bottle is more likely exactly the same as the color of the product that you'll be getting. So this is also a really good way to, you know, you can actually just put the foundation here and be like, mm, you know, is this close to my skin or not? But I usually will start on the side of my face. I won't really do my neck too much because I feel like my neck is a bit more discolored and if I use my neck I'll probably get you know put on a foundation that's really really dark so I'll just start on this corner side of my face here and if it blends well here then it will most likely will blend in well on the rest of my face but it's not to worry I feel like with foundation even if your, your shade isn't perfect you can always go in with the fit me concealer and just you know brighten it up or you know blend it out to make sure that you get the perfect shade or you can like I did, mix two foundations. And the great thing about Femi is that it's so affordable. Currently, it's running at 50% off, so you can get all the foundation in the world. You can get your one shade in 10 different bottles. And I just feel like, you know, that's so great. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really I love that. So for all of you, it is 50% off your Fit Me Foundations at Discam. So make sure. Okay, no, no, no. You got to do that again. We have to see that up. <laughs> to us, both sides, My please. skin, honey. It's the skin for me. Foundation is flawless. You know? You know what I'm saying? If you paid attention, you would have seen that really, really my pressure, the pressure of my the, my hand on my face is not too strong. I'm really, really just taking my time with it, making sure that I've got the flawless blend. If I feel like I want more coverage, this would be my ideal, perfect, um, everyday sort of coverage. But if I feel like I want more coverage and I want like, you know, a really, really snatched face and a full, full coverage. That, that's the nice thing about Fit Me as well. You can go in and blend in some more foundation and, you know, repeat the process again. And I love that it's buildable because it can suit anyone from somebody who's just trying to get into makeup and wants that super skin-like finish, or if you're having a night out with the girls, you know, like you said, and build it up, it can definitely be something like a snatch face going on. So Absolutely. thank you. Okay. Yes, zoom in <laughs> once again, please. Can we get a close-up on camera too? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see the glow? <laughs> I love this foundation. I absolutely love it.
I love that. So remember, you can get 50% off your Fit Me range until Sunday. Uh, that is at Discam stores nationwide. So do make sure that you head there. Otherwise, there's a link floating around in the comment section. Click on that. Get your shade. Get shades for everybody. There are 42 shades. So you might as well throw your sister, your mom, and everybody else in your family that wears foundation and gift them because that is an absolute steal. Kay, I'd really love to get into you know, how you got into influence. You are one of the best in the business, and it's so beautiful to see how fruitful your career has been. And congrats to your recent move to Cape Town. So Thank tell me you. how you got into influencing and how it's taken you where you are today. Oh, uh, it's been, uh, I got into influencing very organically. I had no idea it was influencing at the time. I didn't even know what a red card was. So when, I think it was Maybelline quite actually, Maybelline was one of the first brands that I ever worked with. And they were like, hey, do you want to send us your red card? And I'm just like, red card? What is a red card? And they're like, oh, well, if you want to create some content for us and put it on Instagram and, and on YouTube, and you know, you, we got to pay you for that. And I'm like, uh, I, okay, great, you know? So honestly, I was just doing what I love, which was makeup at the time. I mean, till today, I absolutely love makeup. I'm so passionate about new products and foundation and, you know, just looking good. I love doing my makeup. So yeah, anyway, um, so they sort of reached out to me and I was like, oh, okay, this is actually something that I can do. It's like a business. And I, then I started investing in, you know, getting to know, downloading apps that can help me with my rate card and everything like Canva. Canva is an app that I still use till this day to make my rate card, to make my invoices, to make my YouTube thumbnail. So it's a really, really great app if you're looking to get into the influencer business. And yeah, from there, it's just been... I've literally just gotten work off of just being myself. <laughs> like I, I actually laughed the other day because I just um, recently got a cleaning campaign because I clean so much and I'm always cleaning in my vlogs. And you honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it was it just <laughs> uh, it's just been so lovely. It's been so lovely to just you know be myself and you know get work from that but i'm i'm a really hard worker as well so you really have to put in the work make sure that brands know that you're you know you're really dedicated and you're really passionate about what you're doing and yeah amazing so what do you owe to your um sustenance in the in the industry because it's one thing to just post a pretty picture and move on but you've been doing this for quite some time and it of course is your form of income so yeah. do you have two tips that you can give to everybody to just say watch out for this or make sure you do this yes absolutely um consistency is key whether it's i feel like if you're consistent on at least one platform i know sometimes it's get like it gets like a really really hard to be consistent on instagram and on youtube and on twitter you know but if you're online you need to make sure that you're online for one, the algorithm will literally just kick you off if you're not posting. And um, people sort of, there's so many creators out there, people will sort of just forget and be like, oh, okay, cool, you know, let's move on. And then they find other faves because you've left them that gap, you know? So I think consistency is the most important thing. It's something that like has grown my career, you know, in so many different ways and in just the best way possible. I think that's the best way. Just be yourself and be consistent and just work hard. Make sure that people can tell that this is something that you're passionate about and something that you want to do, you know? I love that. Work hard, be yourself and consistency. Three Absolutely. tips from Kay Yams. Thank you, Kay. We'll come back to you in a bit, but we're loving the foundation. Let's move on to the brows because we need to absolutely define the face. Before we move on to that, again, shout out to our first winner. Thank you so much for all the comments coming through. Of course, that winner is Call Me Cool Friend who said that Kay Skin is just looking absolutely incredibly healthy. And she's confirmed that that definitely is the best way to have a good makeup routine is to have a good skincare routine as well. I want to move on to the brows with Sailor Dean. I can't wait to bring her on and also find out from her what it takes to be an influencer in her space and also some tips and tricks when it comes to, you know, the application she uses to get that flawless, flawless Instagram worthy image. We're going to get into that in just a bit. Let's check out what the tattoo brow is all about. New tattoo brow up to 36 hour pencil from Maybelline, New York. Now defined brows. Up to 36 hours. Waterproof. Smudge resistant. 
Power Pack Pigments. New tattoo brow up to 36 hour pencil. Only from Maybelline, New York. I love it. Sailor, welcome. Thanks for being here. I love everything that you've offered, Sailor, um, you know, on Instagram. You truly add so much value to this space as well, because not only are you an influencer and content creator, you also are a professional makeup artist, and I feel like that gives you so much credibility in the space, right? Sailor says something, and we're like, we can believe this. <laughs> I get that a lot, but yeah, yeah. No, it's being a professional makeup artist and doing the whole Instagram thing really does, like, it helps a lot. 100%. And I mean, your following definitely is testament to that. And today, I want you to really take us through how you get that flawless brow. We've been seeing your gorgeous brows all over our Instagram, both explore page and feed. So let's get into the New York tattoo brow 36 hour pencil, right? To keep us staying fresh and looking good. I got mine too. Show us how to do it, Taylor. What do we do? And how is this so great? So I'm going to be using this tattoo brow it's got 36 hour wear and it is hella pigmented let me tell you it's a goodie and um i usually like to keep my brows fairly more on the natural side but still snatched i like a snatched brow but not too hectic you know yeah. so what i like to first do is i always brush my brows upwards because as you can see your brows tend to lay quite flat if you don't brush them and it always makes it a hell of a lot easier if they brush upwards. You can just see that there's more hair to fill in. So I always love to make sure that the pencil is completely sharp. That is the first step. You need a sharp pencil. You can't be using this blunt little stick. So I like to start in the mid part of my brow. And I like to just do really, really fine strokes and kind of pull them upwards. And my... Favorite kind of brow is that new trending fluffy brow. I think it's everyone's kind of favorite brow. Like, guys, the fluffy brow is just it. <laughs> the fluffy brow is it. <laughs> so I like the brow. brow. I love it. That Kendall Jenner brow, you know. So yeah. I like to just do strokes like this. And then when it comes to the tail of my brow, my brows are like a little bit short. So I just lightly extend them, like ever so slightly. Like you would not even know if I didn't tell you. And literally just keep quiet. You want to go too hard, I'd be dramatic and harsh and just not flattering on your face shape. And always continue to brush product out and through the brows so that it spreads nice and evenly. So I'm just going to quickly, I feel like brows is one of those things. If you're not good at doing your brows, you cannot talk and do them at the same time. It's so yes. hard. I was like, do I interject? Because I know myself right now, like I need everyone to keep quiet and not talk to me when I'm no, doing like, my eyes. The world needs to stop. I need to do my brows. <laughs> Absolutely. And don't you feel, Sailor, that like your brows really define your face as well. So to get the great nice. brow, it brings it together. If there's one thing I can't leave the house without doing, it's my brows and my lashes. Yes. I can have no makeup on. Brows and lashes have to be done. It's just one of those things. A hundred percent. So as you put the product in, you continually are brushing the product into it. And it softens the product. It still fills out the brow. And then when you get to the front of your brow, yes. this is like the make or break. Because yes. this is where you get either too dramatic, you know. So here you just want to align it where the bottom of your brow is and then lightly stroke it upwards like ever so slightly don't overdo it but if you do it's fine don't stress you can just carry on brushing it out until it softens out and continue to just put the strokes through the brow and if you have any sparse areas like my one brow is a good brow and my other one just doesn't they're not sister like they're not twins they're sisters that's the one yes. thing you have to remember about brows yes. <laughs> <laughs> cousins twice removed <laughs> like fifth cousins <laughs> yes. it's looking really great so far continue showing love to Sailor Dean in the comment section across our YouTube as well as Facebook I see all of you and I hope that you are getting that perfect brow too um, go ahead and send a comment through and we are going to pick our next winner for that fit me hamper to the value of a thousand rand so that you can also look as snatched as great as we do to today you're moving on to the second brow. I feel like this one goes a lot quicker than the first. Yeah, she's the nice one. 
The other one, she doesn't cooperate. She doesn't want to be friends with us. But this one, she is it. I love it. Sailor, also, how do you pick the, the shade that you should go with when it comes to your eyebrows? So I actually, I'm not a natural blonde. I'm more like a story blonde. So yeah. my brows are a lot darker than obviously my hair color. So I just like to stick to what my brow color is. And I do tint them a little bit darker, but mm. mostly I just choose something that's very, very similar to my brows. And that is not too dark, but still defines my brows. I also like more of a cool toned brow rather okay. than a very warm brow because I just feel like it doesn't look good on me. But warm mm. brows do look good on some people. It's just up to your skin tone. So okay. because I'm more of like a neutral skin tone, I look better with cooler um, brows, but a neutral skin tone can actually do both, believe it or not. It's the same as like matching it to like jewelry. So if you can wear both color jewelries and you're neutral, if you can wear only gold, you're more of a warm toned. And if mm. you can wear only silver, then you are like a very, very cool tone. Mm. So that's kind of how you also match things to your skin tone and your brows. In general. I love it. We came for eyebrows and we're walking away with a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> Thank you, Sailor. Okay, we're going to get into our second winner today. Thank you so much for the comments that are coming through. And this one's actually a question for you, Sailor. So let's get into it. It's so good. Um, I got a comment as well as a question. Talk and browse same time. She's a superwoman. That you are. Thank you, Marianne S. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a question from um, Mila Kude Mbutiane, who says, can I conceal fluffy brows at the top of my brow? Um, I would recommend doing your foundation first and okay. then doing your brows. And you can definitely conceal beneath your brows, but I just wouldn't recommend doing it because you, I'm going to show you now the last step with mm -hmm. doing this fluffy brow is just adding some soap onto them just to keep them like nice and straight and fluffy. So I wouldn't recommend concealer on the top of your brow, but on the bottom, it's still okay. And if you really do mess up, just conceal very lightly and then put the soap on afterwards. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't recommend doing it only after the soap. So I'm just taking the Maybelline Lasting Fix and just spraying it on some clear soap. You can get any soap, really. Yes. Nothing special. And yes. you just rush it through your brows. And it makes them look so much fuller. And... Mm. Like, I just love it. I can't leave the house without putting soap in my brows. And it's so affordable. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Since I found out about the, the soap brow, I haven't looked back. Because my brows are quite fine. And I just feel like to give it that extra oomph and hold it into place, the soap 100% helps. And I love the tip of filling it in and then going ahead and setting them in place like um, Sailor has done. Show us a close-up, Sailor. Let's see what we're working with. Love it. Love it, love it. Fluffy goodness. We love yeah. girls like that. Love it, love it. Sailor, let's get into talking about um, influencing and also potentially some tools that you use to help you step up your influencing game, right? What sort of apps do you use to enhance your pictures? I know that Kay mentioned Canva is an app she uses to create content. Do you perhaps have certain ones you use for video editing or reels that you could give to all of us? So for my videos, I do a lot of like makeup tutorials on Instagram. I use Final Cut Pro. It is more of an advanced editing program. It is quite pricey too. But before I used that, like that was an investment into my business. I was using iMovie, which is a completely free like platform on your Apple laptop, on your own Apple. And it's an incredible app to get, get started and just know how to use it. And then Final Cut Pro is a little bit more advanced, but it's honestly so worth it. That sounds really good. And any of your um, picture apps that you can maybe give us some options for? Yes. So my, I feel like everyone's favorite that we don't want to admit that we use, but we use is FaceTune. Yeah. <laughs> we all <laughs> use a little bit of FaceTune. <laughs> but um, more so for like just smoothing out the skin a little bit and just defining brows, hair, and just detail in photos. And then I also use Lightroom just to enhance the saturation and like just little minor tweaks. And then mm -hmm. the third app I use that I've just recently discovered, which I'm quite a fan of, it's called Tezza app. It's like this 
app with most incredible Instagram worthy filters. Like yes. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I think it's a paid app, but honestly, it's mm-hmm. so good. Like the filters yeah. are amazing. Definitely yeah, worth it. So there's Tezza with the presets, Facetune with the little details, um, Lightroom, like you said, for adjusting saturation. And then you said iMovie, you know, if you're just getting started, I need a free video editing app. And then also if you're taking a step further, Adobe Premiere um, or even Final Cut. Those are really good options for video. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Sailor. That. Your bras are looking amazing. We do have another winner, like I mentioned before, because I see all your comments coming through. Selindile underscore AD, writing down all these tips because Sailor's brows are always slaying. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Right there. Sailor, thank you so much for that. I definitely need to move on to the eyes because we've got the foundation. We've set the brows. Now let's move on to Fungi telling us how to exactly put on some eyeshadow, something that I still to this day struggle with a little bit. And Fungi, as we know, is the absolute queen when it comes to anything to do with a sultry eye. We're channeling Mabel, all right? The original founder of Maybelline when we do this. So let's go ahead and check out everything to do with the color. Colossal 36 hour mascara. Maybelline New York, new Colossal up to 36 hour mascara. Can't stop, won't stop. Big bold lashes up to 36 hours. Mega brush and volume lock formula. We're talking waterproof, smudge resistant, non stop. Colossal volume. New Colossal up to 36 hour mascara. Maybelline New York. Can you, Hi. Are you oh, there you are. I lost you for a moment. Hi, everyone. I <laughs> I'm done. We can see what we're getting into. You set us up with success over there. Yes, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and I don't know where you've been if you don't know, Bungai is an award-winning Zimbabwean-born beauty influencer. She's also a professional makeup artist and hair and fashion enthusiast. And Bungai, as you've already done your one eye, of course, you're going to take us through the Colossal 36-Hour Mascara, as well as one of my favorite palettes, the Nudes of New York Eyeshadow Palette, and then finishing it all off with the Colossal Kajal Eyeliner, right? Tell us what we're doing. Tell us where to start. All right. So today we're going, going to be doing like a simple basic eye, which... Um, just allows us to use two shades uh, of the Nudes of New York palette. So what I like to do, because I like simplicity, I like clean simplicity. What I always do when I'm doing like my everyday makeup is I use a two shades of like a neutral nudes. And um, I've already done my one eye, which looks a little bit of like a warm brown smoky um I and what I did is I went in and I took the glob or trotter shade and with that shade using one brush you guys I didn't use like a lot of brushes I used one brush I just dip that into the shade called a glob trotter and then what I do is I just then start pressing it into uh, the crease of my eye and you know, pressing that eyeshadow into the crease of, of your eye just allows you to get a, like a definition between like your eyelid as well as the top of your eye. So I just like keep pressing that, but also whilst I'm pressing that eyeshadow into my crease, I like to do circular blending motions. So do you see guys what I'm doing? In a circular motion, I am just like a blending that eye color. And I keep on dipping back into the brush and tapping it to just get rid of like excess powder because I've already done my base. I don't want like any fallouts. I don't want the makeup to be messy. And then I just keep tapping and dipping and then going in back and uh, just blending it, blending it out. I absolutely love, 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 love this palette because of the way that it's opaque. Like, do you see that? you just see the way those shades are so so opaque there is so much color so this literally works across all skin tones whether you have like a deep skin tone like myself or whether you are a lighter in shade this is going to work for you so amazingly and once that dark shade has been pressed into the crease of my eye you can see now i do have 
more definition. I do have a semi, by the way, semi hooded eyes, but if I do press eyeshadow into the crease like that, it sort of give, gives that illusion like I have a, a lot of eyelid space. And you don't wanna leave that line. Do you see that line on top of my eye that looks like somebody punched in my face? You don't want that. <laughs> so what you wanna do is you wanna go back and start blending out um, that demarcation and to do that now you're going to go into the second shade the second shade which is a, this shade in the palette called explorer so you just dip in with the same motions that you use same brush maybe you just like want to wrap it on your towel or like your wet wipe you know just to get rid of the darker shade and go back into that and then just start like blending out uh, that top so that it's like seamless and properly like blended out. So I hope I you love guys that so much, Fungai. Let's just pause there. On, well, you continue. Let okay. me just ask you this question because I'm also really curious um, to up my eye game, right? From Kamo uh, Mama Kao, they're asking which brush is actually the best for eyeshadow. There's so many on the market. Where does one even begin? Okay, so like a blending brush brush like the one that I'm using right now is really perfect for like your everyday eyeshadow looks unless if you want to go into like uh, packing if you want to pick eyeshadows then you want to look for like a flat a brush or even like your concealer brush it works as well to pick eyeshadow I also like to use my fingers you know sometimes when I really don't want to uh, pick eyeshadow on my eyelid using a brush I just really go in with my finger, like if I'm using shiny shades, like the shade we have in the palette called Inspire, you just go in like that and then you swipe it. I'm not going to swipe on my eye because I'm not doing uh, an intricate eye look. You just swipe it like on your eyes like that mm -hmm. using your finger. It absolutely works. But if you're yeah. doing your everyday makeup like I'm doing, the everyday eye look, literally one brush, guys, I'm not kidding you, one brush is enough to blend out and you dust it off, you rub it out and then you go back and you blend. And you can see right now on my eyelid, there is sort of like a white shade. I'm gonna leave it mm -hmm. because it gives that illusion as if like I applied a lighter shade on my eyelid. Whereas I just used uh, two shades of, of the eyeshadow. I love that so much. If you were to choose one eye product, right, that you could take with you in your bag as you go around, would you grab the eyeshadow palette? Would you grab the mascara or would you grab the eyeliner just to um, make sure your eye looks good? Uh, why did I feel like you were going to ask me that, Caris? <laughs> why are you putting me on such a hard spot? Because, come on. <laughs> only I'm one, but I, only one. you got to choose one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll I'll take the I don't know I don't, I don't care who you think you are. <laughs> Everybody needs an eyeliner, guys. I'll take the eyeliner definitely because I feel like for me it just gives life to my eyes. You see, yeah. you will see, guys. Let me just apply it for you. I absolutely love this uh, eyeliner. Yeah. You know what? Let me keep quiet. Let me do it first, and then I'll talk because I don't want to give my like eyes. sailor with the brows. Let's not distract you at all. <laughs> So what I like to do when I'm applying my uh, Colossal Kajal line, I love it. It glides so softly on the eyes. And I also just feel like it's such a great beginner-friendly eyeliner that will work for anybody, you know. So I just like to grab my eye like that and pull it down so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. Look in the mirror straight and then just like start applying it. And as you apply, make sure you're not pressing too hard, lightly because... Honey, if you press too hard, you know what's going to happen. Your eyes are going to be bleeding, you see. So just lightly and you see now you have like a nice, really smoky eye. Do You see the definition that that is on this eye compared to the other eye that I haven't done, uh, like the liner. So yeah, that's why I just, I, I love eyeliner. So I will pick eyeliner over anything else. And it's also going for 89, 90, 95. You guys can also buy it from a uh, discount and as well as from clicks. You know what? This liner stays for a very long time. So yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of product as well in there. So yeah. you guys need to get it. I don't care who you think you are, get it. <laughs> And what a steal for 90 bucks. That's crazy. So do yeah. make sure you head over and get yourself some Colossal Cajun Liner.
Bunga is just going to continue doing her eye as I get into the next winner. I'm seeing all the love on the socials. Bunga, people are just showing up for you, saying, yes, we absolutely love what you have to do. And the next winner for the Fit Me Hamper to the value of a thousand rand, courtesy of Maybelline New York, goes out to Alana Mondre Jacobs. Thank you so much for engaging us, saying that, you know what, Bunga, your makeup game is on point as always and also that i've been an eyeliner person since i was a teen definitely you know what to be honest the first uh, bit of makeup that i came across was eyeliner i was super young grabbed my mom's i think it was a navy blue eyeliner at the time and i put it on my eye and i could not stop staring at myself when guys when i tell you i said who is that in the mirror she's beautiful yes. so it's definitely a production into makeup yeah eyeliner just I, I don't know, it just has this thing that literally like just elevates your makeup game. So yeah. after my eye is done, I'm gonna focus more on this one because I've already done my eyeliner. Um, I, I really don't have a lot of eyelashes, guys. Mm. <laughs> so this is the reason why I love the Colossal or Maybelline mascara. I freaking love this stuff. I love it firstly because of the brush. I have super, super, super curly eyelashes. The ones that are stubborn, the ones that literally like curl back inside. And I prefer brushes like these ones because they have the ability to literally attack every single eyelash. Do you see that? So whether you've got curly lashes, whether you've got long lashes, this brush is literally perfect. Do you see them coming out a little bit? They're coming out. <laughs> Literally, no other, mascara. <laughs> no other <laughs> mascara does this for me, you see. So I literally love this mascara for that. And also, it's quite, quite, quite affordable. Literally very affordable for only 99 Rand. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love, love it so much. It's one um, mascara that has uh, a wand that's not going to like poke into your eyes because of the separated bristles. I don't know if you guys can see. So, yeah, that's the reason why I really love this mascara. And it doesn't clump as well. just allows your lashes to be coated, like, um, each by each. Yeah, if that makes yes. sense. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. And imagine 200 bucks will get you mascara as well as an eyeliner. In fact, under 200 bucks, 99 Rand and 89 Rand. We absolutely love it. Yeah. Bye. Um, can I get into asking you a bit about your influencer journey? So, of course, we've been seeing you and been with you, you know, throughout the whole process and so proud of all the collaborations you've done and also for your own journeying when it comes to your entrepreneurial um, pathway, right? But yeah. I did see the other day on your Instagram stories that somebody almost questioned that influencing is a real career path. They were surprised that you can make money or for being an influencer in this country. And you were like, what? So talk to me about, like, you know, establishing yourself as a business woman or a business person within influencing. How do I do my rate card? How do I set the standard of what you need to pay me? When it comes to money, how do I even go about navigating that conversation and even building my media kits? Yeah. So I, when I started off, because I wasn't really aware of uh, how to price myself, more especially for myself and also to price myself against other creators. So I was using a platform called Web, Web Influential. Um, if anybody can use Web Influential, they can just sign up. And what it does is, is it's like pulls other creators that are doing maybe, let's say, the sort of thing that you're doing or that have the same numbers and they just give you a comp comparison. They will tell you this is how much uh, uh, creators who have the same numbers as you, as, the same engagement as you are charging. And that will sort of like give you an idea of how much you need to charge. Secondly, there's also another website called Social Blue Book. Uh, this is an American website. However, it also does give you like um, an idea of how much you're supposed to charge. But it all boils down to yourself how much do you want from a brand? How much do you think you're worth? And also, it also boils down to the kind of brand that you're dealing with because some brands do pay more than the others. And you just have to know um, like who you're working with for you to be able to price yourself. So sometimes, yeah, you, you might find that uh, your rate card might 
uh, fluctuate. Also, it always boils down to the relationship that you have with the brand, what you have done with them before, and also it also boils down to the amount of work that they are giving you. So yeah, that's yeah. how you usually price yourself online. Such great tips. We're fluential. And what was the other one you mentioned? Social Blue Book. Social Blue Book and Webfluential, great starting points to put yourself out there. They also have a calculator to sort of see your value and your numbers, and they will give you an amount that you can start off, you know, a ballpoint figure. You can start off charging brands and take it from there. But like one guy said, relationships are really important. So that's what you have to foster in order to build your brand and build yourself as you establish yourself as an influencer. So, Bangai, you've done your eyeshadow, right? So you're going to add a lash to kind of round it all up. Is that the look? Yes, I'm going to add a lash. But lastly, before I, I go on and add my lash, because uh, I'm probably going to do that online, I wanted to just do my bottom uh, eyelashes with the mascara. Yes. I'm just going to go in. Guys, don't ma- this is my mascara face, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, We've been waiting for it. In fact, I'm going to zoom in on you right now. <laughs> Nobody in this world is going to look cute. We all have a mascara face. And my <laughs> mascara face is this. Don't mind me, guys. You know, <laughs> Not my mas- I have to hold, I have to hold all the muscles of my face so that mm-hmm. they, they don't move and disturb me when I'm doing like my bottom uh, eyelashes. <laughs> it's fine. It makes you more relatable, Fungai. Nobody can close their mouths when they're putting on mascaras. So go ahead. Go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just like to use... Did. Yeah. <laughs> I like to use the tip of my um, my wand to just like apply mascara on the bottom of my lashes. I know you guys can't see them, but trust me, they are there and they make a huge difference in like opening up your eyes and just making your eye look very like sexy and uh, nice. Mm. We love a sexy eye. We love a sultry look as well. We're also going to move on to doing a really great lip. We're going to go through those Super Stay Matte Ink Lips with Simone Skosin, and she's going to just close up the look all together while Fungai continues and puts on her lash, continues to do her bottom lashes. We'll see everyone in just a bit, but I can't wait to bring on our TikTok star. I said I'm wearing the color Pioneer in the Super Matte Ink Lip Colors, Super Stay Matte Ink Lip Colors. Colors, but let's see what it's all about. Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline, New York. Liquid matte formula. Up to 16 hour wear. Super Stay Matte Ink, only from Maybelline, New York. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, Simone. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. I, I am so proud of this makeup right now. You look good. I don't good. think I've applied makeup like this in my life. So I just want to say thank you to all the phenomenal women on this masterclass today. A hundred percent. And it's called a masterclass for a reason. Hearing from the best in the business when it comes to beauty to do an absolutely beautiful face. For those of you who don't know, our TikTok star, I don't know how you could not know her. Simone Skosin is an influencer as well as an entrepreneur. And she's super passionate about fitness, about beauty, about fashion, as well as all things to do with lifestyle. And you're going to be talking us through the Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline New York. I know that there are so many shades to choose from. What is your favorite? What's your go-to? What's your thinking process when you choose a lip color? My thinking process is what um, I know my boys would not try to scrape off my face. So I always go with like the beautiful nude natural colors because my kids are just insane with with these these beautiful colors. So the less attractive it is to them, the better it is for me. I love that. So I've gone with Pioneer today because I think a staple red lip is always, always a great idea. Uh, where where are we going today? What are you feeling? I am thinking poet, guys. It's number, This is the shade. And I think the amazing thing about this product is the fact that because there's a new norm of wearing masks, this is the pro- perfect product bec- because it's trans for proof. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm going to start with the application 
it is an aero applicator. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's really nice. It's a great neutral as well. It's like your yeah. lips, but better. Yeah. And it smells so good on my soul. It's almost edible. Thank yeah. God it was mad. Otherwise, I would just lick it off my lips, to be honest. Oh my goodness, please eat a yeah. meal before you put this on. It will be tempting, is what Simone is saying. Absolutely love that, Simone. So when it comes to lip liners, um, do you ever consider doing that before to define your lips or do you just go straight into doing a lipstick and call it a day? I honestly go straight into the lipstick um, because I often, I often mess up my makeup really quick, really quick, which is why this is the perfect product for me, honestly. It doesn't move yeah. anyway. <laughs> Well, 100%. I mean, you're super busy. You're a mom. You know, you're a TikTok star, always moving, always, you know, keeping it going. So you need something that won't move. I mean, yes, not I'm waiting. Nothing, right? Waiting yes, for it to dry. Exactly. Then I'm going to show you. It's transfer proof. We yes. can wear our masks. We can dance. Yes. We can take care of children. <laughs> And uh, it's really great to 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 have you here so that I can dig into your brain all about TikTok. It's a newer platform in South Africa and something that I feel many South Africans are flourishing on because it is such a, a democratized space where more people can participate, right? So let's find out from you, since you are here, um, all about what you enjoy most about TikTok, what you find most fulfilling about it as well, and uh, what made you choose to go onto TikTok in the first place? I think because when I started TikTok, it was more of a coping mechanism for me. Um, it developed into a creative space for me to express myself and also show people globally, you know, who I am and what I'm about. And because TikTok is such an amazing platform, um, yeah. universally you're accepted by millions of people mm -hmm. that watch you just express yourself in a creative, mm -hmm. creative space. Yeah. How did you know you were successful on TikTok? Was there a moment for you? Sorry, I just want to apologize. I'm struggling to speak at the moment because um, I've had my wisdoms removed. So if I sound like I'm not put together at the moment, it's just because my whole mouth is just in stitches, <laughs> literally. Oh, no, you're doing amazing. You're doing Thank so you. great. <laughs> Thanks for the disclaimer. Um, okay, then let me not ask you too many questions. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing that with us. We love seeing you and your family and your family TikToks um, on your platform as well. I know many people out there are on TikTok and have so many questions when it comes to it. Continue sharing the love. And I want to pick two more winners uh, so that I can also gift you a Maybelline Fit Me hamper to the value of a thousand rand. Throw those comments out there. Let me hear who, which TikTok uh, person is your favorite outside of Simone, which I know the comments are going crazy for? Who can we show love to? Uh, what else can we can we expect from, you know, TikTok stars going forward? Do you have a particular um, goal when you go onto TikTok? Is it just for fun? Or are you really trying to, you know, create a platform for maybe other mothers to also relate to you? Or even perhaps just saying that, I'm a multi-dimensional woman and I can do my thing too. Um, I think when I joined the platform, it was with the mind of it's a platform that will evolve. Yeah. Just like Instagram. And I always had the mindset of expressing myself on the platform, but also um, building myself a brand on the platform as well. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that I can still be who I am because who you see on TikTok is who I am in person. Yes. And you can't always express yourself in that way on Instagram. So yeah. um, I love the fact that I'm working with brands that see themselves that fit well with me, like maybe, <laughs> um, you know, and they embrace the person that I am and I can just enjoy myself. I think it's like a platform that you get to just entertain everyone and enjoy yourself and express yourself the best way you possibly can. Yeah. And that's what draws people to it because they can see Simone for who she is. Thank you so much for the comments coming through. We have two more winners to wrap up our five winners. And I am so excited for you to get your hands on this Fit Me hamper. Um, the winners are Helena Kirsten. Congratulations to you. Says Pioneer is my go-to color. You know a girl. 
I see you, you see me. You said that you absolutely love red lips. And then we also have a winner, Nishia Manders. Thank you for the tips and tricks. It's an absolute pleasure. As we're getting to the end of our session today, I, I am so excited to see so many of your faces. Please remember to post them across social media so that we can also see the snatch look that you have going. We're going to bring Kay Yams on again, and uh, we're going to find out what she looks like right now after the last time that we had left her and get into how you can continue winning with Maybelline. So thank you so much. Look at you, Kay. <laughs> we That's on period. <laughs> Which shade do you oh. on your lip? I use this beautiful shade Seductress. I'm not a, <clears throat> sorry, I'm not a big fan of a matte lipstick right now. So I just added a gloss on top of it and it is giving, I absolutely love it. It's giving a lot. It's giving so much. We're definitely going to bring everyone on just to close off the session today and also seal our makeup together. But do remember that you can stay winning with Maybelline. We have another hamper up for grabs to the value of 10,000 Rand. And that is the TikTok challenge that I mentioned at the start of the session today. So do make sure that you head over to, if you're on TikTok, Simone's TikTok, and use the Maybelline audio in order to create your look and create your vibe. Otherwise, you can take it from any of our Instagram videos that, of course, is Kayam, Sailor, or Fungi, just to show us what you're made of. And maybe at the end of the day, it is Maybelline. <laughs> you will win a hamper to the value of 10,000 Rand. So do make sure that you get on that ASAP and it closes tomorrow at midnight. Do also remember that there's 50% off at Discam when it comes to Fit Me products and also on Superbulous and Take A Lot. 30% off is the deal that is waiting for you. Bungai, I see you with your dark lip. Which shade have you got today? Oh, it's called Wait. Wait, I dropped it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, oh, my God. It's called 45 Escapiste. Ooh. Yeah. Love I love it. It suits the look so well. Sailor, tell me you joined me with the Pioneer. It's winning, girl. We are getting the red lip. I absolutely love it. To close off today, I want to go ahead and I don't know who I want to introduce us or start it off, but we're going to go ahead and seal our makeup. Kay, do you want to tell us what this is about? Absolutely. This is the setting spray for the summer. Okay. This will keep your makeup matched and Literally, yeah. your makeup will not move. I recently, no, not recently. A few years ago, I traveled to Nigeria, and if you've ever been there, you know it's so humid. And I was living, oh, <laughs> I was living off the lasting fix. So I absolutely love this. Keeps your makeup nice and matte and flawless, and it's just amazing. Ladies, shall we? Shall. Yes. <laughs> it's also really refreshing. I love it, love it, love it. Look at us. Our face is definitely a billboard worthy. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, rather, uh, Maybelline and all of us put out a competition. And I'm just so excited to announce that out of everything that we've done, 3,620 of you had entered our Maybelline billboard competition, where you could have stood the chance to, of course, have your gorgeous face on a Maybelline billboard, which is going to start at the end of this month. 500 of you will be chosen, so do keep your eyes out to see if your face will be joined with a couple other beautiful people across the country on our Maybelline billboards. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining me. This was so incredible. Your looks are absolutely flawless, and I can't wait for people to continue following your journeys online. I appreciate everything that you have given us when it comes to tips and tricks, as well as the demonstration to get this flawless, flawless look. Kay, Sailor, Simone, and Fungai, we thank you for your time. Thanks so much for having thank us. You. Definitely. And thank you all of you for joining us across Facebook as well as YouTube. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting you this morning. My name is Carissa Cupido and uh, I will see you very, very soon. In the meantime, do make sure to get your Maybelline Fit Me product so that you can look as good as all of us did. You have so many discounts to look out for 50% off at Discam and 30% off at Superbulous as well as Take Lot. So go ahead, fill those carts and we will see you in the next one. Bye.